What's going on you guys, Lock here again today. Okay guys, so today I just want to make a quick video. I have actually met quite a few people in the global chat, uh, newer people actually, and they actually asked some pretty good questions, and I just wanted to, you know, pretty much just go over a bunch of tips and tricks for those people, whether you're, whether you're brand new players, whether you're old veterans, you know, I'm just going to put a lot of stuff in this video for pretty much everybody. It might be an information overload and I understand, but I'm going to go ahead and try and break this down into a couple sections. Of course, if you guys want to check the description below, I'm going to have everything listed out as usual. And so yeah, let's go ahead and start with that and move into just a bunch of things that, well, I wish I knew when I had first started playing. So first of all, guys, you will be kind of overwhelmed by everything you see on your screen at first. Look at all of this junk on your screen. Well, let's go ahead and break it down real quick. So, the very first thing you want to do is you want to just make as many strong characters as possible, or make the strongest character possible, and I think that is a good way to come about it, because you do need some really strong characters, and the strongest way to get characters is by not spending all your resources on your weak characters so let's go ahead and go over that so throughout the game you'll get obviously things like awaken essences you'll get omni shards you don't want to use those on sr characters ssr characters and rare characters or r characters you want to save all those for your special your strong ur characters that you're trying to you know pump up a bit and speaking of that Let's go ahead and talk about, continue on to talk about characters here. So, we have a bunch of different types of characters, you know, rare, SR, SSR, and UR. So, the UR characters, and again, this goes for the beginning servers, all the new characters that are being released for you guys, unfortunately, they're just, they're weak. If you're trying to compete and you're trying to be the best on your server and the best in the game, Unfortunately, those characters aren't going to cut it. None of these characters are going to cut it. So, what you guys want to actually save all those precious resources for is once in a blue moon, we will have a special event and there will be event characters dropped. Like, last event we had this character, Yoroichi. And let's just go over some quick numbers here, okay? So, a starter, a starter UR character, let's just... You know, whatever. Uh, this is a pretty, this is a pretty new character. Let's. I think there's a what Kempachi around here somewhere. Okay, let's go and look at Kempachi. Kempachi is a is a you know a beginning game character that is pretty strong that everyone's gonna want to get and just power up as high as possible, as fast as possible. So a couple things you should note here is you should look at their base stats right here. You know their HP, their attack, their defense, and say okay. How do I get that higher? And I think the best way to do that is just not use resources on these characters. You unfortunately you just have to wait for those special events and you'll get special characters like, I don't know, Grim Jow here. Or as we, as I said earlier, you know, Yoroichi, as you could see, just look at these numbers compared to Kimpachi. Kimpachi had like, what, a hundred and something attack? 800 attack on Yoroichi. So if you guys want to be the strongest as possible on your server, save all your jades for these special events that usually come once every month, once once every two months. So save all your jades for those. Don't use your jades on other things like stamina, gold, poles, this and that. Save your jades for those special events. You will be extremely happy with these characters and not the old characters. Anyways, let's go ahead and stick with characters here and move on to the let's take a look here at i don't know a character that i actually have here uh there you go dangai ichigo okay so the very first thing you want to actually note when you see your characters is the bonds so the bonds will obviously say stuff like attack plus 15 percent plus 20 percent plus 25 percent so something you have to realize that these bonds aren't based off of your total overall characters 
HP. If your character has a million HP and you get plus 20% HP, he's not going to get plus 200,000 HP. He's going to get plus his base. So just remember that. Don't be, don't be upset when you don't get the huge numbers you want. However, continuing on with characters here, there is a thing that people don't know. It is this energy bond right here that every character in the game has. Whenever you collect a certain amount of a certain amount of items or bonds here, you unlock this focus bond or energy bond or it has many different names. So please note that this all these benefits right here plus 0.6 plus 0.9 plus 1.2 is account wide for every single character you have. So when you get a new character, make sure or try and get at least blue bond, maybe purple bond. And that'll actually help you out quite a bit. That is definitely a thing that separates the newer players or the high-end players from the mid-tier players is they don't know you have to get all these bonds really high to get that. Because let's just say... You have 30 characters, 40, 50 characters that you don't have any of these bonds on. Well, just right there, that's a 50% increase on HP and or attack on all your characters on your account. So just a reminder, guys, you want to try and get that energy to blue and purple. It'll help you out substantially. Continuing on with characters here, another thing we need to note is the War Souls. So when you get a new character you are going to want to try your best to get them to orange as fast as possible typically because when you do you unlock this thing called a heroic war soul and another thing that's all account wide is its effect increase all characters crit chance by three percent that is every single character you own has a three percent crit chance increase and all characters will have a different one so and, and some of them aren't actually that great. But some of them are pretty good. Like this one, for example, is pretty good too. Defense plus 4%. That one's pretty good. And so just remember, you want to try and get all the characters to a minimum of orange. And then work on these heroic war souls. I know it's going to cost a bunch of resources to level them up. Soul stones. But note that they are going to a very good place. And they will help you out in the long run. I also have been asked quite a few times, Hey, Laxo, why is it that, you know, when my character, who is 5-star, fights another character that's 4-star, and we're the same character, why is it that they dominate my character and I can't do a thing about it? Well, once again, continuing off of the War Souls, they have more War Souls, unfortunately, than you maxed out. So their character just has a whole lot more benefits over your character. But there's more things in this game that decide that. If you come over here to Team, you will see this special relic. Once again, guys, these special relics help out an insane amount. As you can see, just by maxing these relics... Let's so swap accounts here. So as I was saying, these special relics help out so much. As you can see, each special relic actually does so much. If you look right here, on the right side, it tells you what it does. It gives all your front row characters plus 12,000 HP, plus 18% HP, crit resist chance, block chance, attack, attack percent. All these relics do insane things. So you want to just remember, try and, you know, keep up your spirit relics, try and get your relics completed as fast as possible. Another thing to note is if you click right up here where it says relic soul, it actually tells you all the other benefits it gives you too. So you level up the first one, it gives you 10% crit chance on all your attack specialty characters. Block chance plus 10% on defense specialty characters. So these are huge stats. And as you can guess, every single one of them has pretty good stats. Block chance, crit resist chance. All of them have really, really good stats. And if one person has all of these completed, another person has none of them completed, the person that has all of them will win a hundred percent of the time so try and keep those up as much as you can another thing 
that determines that as well is if you come over here to soul hall you also get bonuses just from leveling up your soul hall so try and get so try and complete your soul halls those are actually pretty helpful as well they do help out all your characters not just in the actual soul hall but specifically each character so try and do that and once again another thing that helps you out quite a bit here is if you come over here and click a character and you give them gifts as you can see you'll level them up as and you'll get certain benefits like as we do this boom his attack went up his defense went up his hp went up and if you just do that to all your characters you'll get a huge bonus for all your characters and their team bonuses for being on your team so that also plays into the factor of how strong a person's character slash account is is you just have to level those things up unfortunately and also for the album as well you have to level up these as well this one these aren't as important as the other things i was showing you these are pretty important but they don't make up such a big factor as the other things i was showing you but you can try and keep all these up as high as possible once again i just suggest getting everything to orange orange one minimum orange minimum and leveling up those war souls and coming here and leveling up these as well and as time goes on you will get more stars for the characters and you'll get extra bonus rewards over here which are quite nice And since we're on teams here, let's go ahead and stick with teams here and look at this. So one thing you'll notice at the top is it says initiative. I have about a 29,000 initiative. So whoever has the highest initiative will go first in battle. And the single most important thing for initiative is right here. These archives right here. As you level up the characters, you will increase their initiative across the board. Each character, you can increase their initiative to a maximum if you use an exploit. If you use an exploit that I found, you can get a maximum of 223 on every single character, but realistically, you're only, only going to want to get them to around 100. That's typically a good point to move on to a new character, or just get them even to 80 and then move on to a new character. Whatever is most efficient for you and your account. However note that initiative doesn't always equal win it just equals win about the majority of the time but not always sometimes you can build a team so tanky and strong that the other team cannot win until a lot further down the line so note that initiative isn't a guaranteed win it's just a lot higher of a chance that you will win and once again, another way you can increase your initiative is, as I said, to just try and get all your characters to orange, orange one, and move on, is every time you level them up once, it'll increase your initiative to, I believe, plus five. Let's go ahead and check that out. So here you will notice that I have an initiative of 28,952, and if I go right back here, and then I level up, I don't know, let's level up Kyoriku here once. Enhance, enhance. Boom, now it should have went up. Move back over here to initiative. And you'll notice 28,957. So it went up by 5. And every time you level up a character, it'll give it plus five to initiative okay so now that we're done with that we want to move on to another thing and that is just activities and things that you could do every day that'll also help you out a substantial amount leveling up your account brand new and let's go ahead and start with the extreme challenge so an extreme challenge you'll be kind of just bombarded with a lot of information here just try and do as many floors as you can because as you go up the floors it'll give you just amazing rewards look at this if i get to floor 640 or if i complete 640 i will get 500 jades i'll get 
five soul stones and more relic sources as well, which will help out quite a bit. And as you go up, you'll just get better and better and better rewards. So try and do that as well. However, however, there is at some point, there is one point where you will hit that wall that you cannot pass. And unfortunately, at that point, you just need to pause and level up your account more, level up your characters more, get them stronger, and move on. And that just doesn't go for Extreme Challenge, that goes for Story Mode as well. You will not be able to complete everything in one sitting. There will be a point at which you hit that wall, and you need to come over here, and you need to just start leveling up your account, and get it to a point of which you can move on and continue to level your characters. Unfortunately, this is a game of progression, and it is a long-term progression. It isn't an immediate thing. Unfortunately, that's just the name of the game. Alright. Another tip I can give to the new players is, if you come over here, the same thing for Elite Mode. You won't be able to, you'll hit this wall, and unfortunately you need to go back, you need to level up your characters, you need to complete the story mode, and then you can move on. However, there's one thing right here that you want to take into consideration, is you will get SSR characters, you'll get decent characters that you want to level up, you want to get shards for this and that, throughout your playthrough. And this is a good place to get shards for them. You just come over here, you'll get actually decent characters, you know, you'll get Toshiro, you'll get Gin, you'll and you'll get Ikaku and there is another you'll get you'll get Rongiku however there's one character that is really good here that is very difficult to get and that is Byakuya he is extremely tough to pull for extremely tough to get shards for so that is why you want to always try and pull for this one right here I believe it is orange one and it is a pretty is a pretty good way pretty easy way to get shards for him for free you just come here you do your three you do your three sweeps a day and you just try and get as many shards as you can because they get very difficult to get to later on all right and i believe that is orange one if you come over here you find a character you need to level up to orange one i got some armor here boom click that sweep and then you'll if you're lucky you'll get one two maybe three sometimes you'll get zero Alright, so have I lost you yet? Because now we're going to get into things that you probably don't want to do when you're new, when you're a new player. Let's go ahead and start with, let's go start with Jades actually. So Jades, again, as I was saying earlier, you want to save those up for those special event, those event characters will give you the great push that'll help you out throughout all your story mode, extreme challenges, and it'll definitely bring you to the top of your server in a heartbeat so one thing you don't want to do is spend those jades that you can get those characters with on things that you don't need plain and simple another thing that you should probably try and avoid here is as i was saying earlier you want to get your characters to orange as soon as possible however you don't want to level up every single character to max. That's not the end game goal. You only want to level up the characters that you are going to use. You only want to level up those characters that you're going to use in Arena, Extreme Challenge, etc. You only want to level up those characters to max. So, just remember that. Another big thing, and that is talents. You don't need to max talents. A lot of people say oh you have to max talents you have to max talents no you don't they are they're a nice help like this for example increase the attack and defense of all zanpakuto manifestations by up to three percent but however that goes to an insane number of shards you have to spend just to increase that and it's not worth the you don't get as much out as you get as you put in so don't level up your talents unless you have a bunch of extra shards that you could just throw in there just a warning a lot of people are going to say no 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 no, level up your talents don't 
unless you have a bunch of extra resources to do so. And other don'ts I pretty much covered earlier is, you know, once again, don't waste all your resources, all your Awaken Essences, all your Omni Shards. Don't waste those on things you don't need, on those low SR, rare SSR, and even some, and even most of the UR characters aren't even worth leveling up. So only use those on characters that you really need, really like, like those special event characters. Like we're going to get anniversary event here in a couple days and those are the things you want to spend these on anyways you guys i think that is actually just about gonna do it here the only other you know great tips i can give you guys is you know try and get these ssr characters these season pass characters for free they'll also help you out quite a bit they are definitely a step ahead of the early characters as well so those are pretty good but that is pretty much it, but the first and foremost, I think the biggest tip that I can give anybody that plays this game is have fun. Don't burn yourself out. You know, don't play too much, don't spend too much, and all of a sudden you're just stressed out. It's not worth it, you know, just play for fun, know that it's a game, and it's not there to upset you, it's just there to for you to have fun. And sooner or later, you're going to run out of stuff to do. But the most important things you should do every day is just do these. You know, get your get your dailies out of the way. And that right there will probably keep you up. That right there alone will keep you up with your everybody else on your server. So just try and do that. And that'll keep you going. Anyways, you guys, that's going to do it for this one. I probably missed a bunch of things and you're probably yelling at me in the comment section i understand totally understand so let me know in the comment section the things that i did miss i know i probably did miss a couple things so let me know what i missed if you guys learned something you know I, I spent quite a bit of time trying to make and trying to figure out and you know make a flow to this video so if you guys learned something and you guys enjoyed it i would also really like it if you guys subscribed that would make my day if you guys liked the video feel free to hit the like button if you guys need to talk to me about anything you know message me in that comment section i will get back to you as soon as i can as per usual and yeah once again guys just play the game have fun enjoy yourself don't burn out all right guys that'll do it for this one and i'll catch you in the next one